Pipedrive is a popular sales pipeline management software designed to support business in driving revenue and growth. Now Pipedrive in our opinion is an alternative CRM solution to HubSpot. Pipedrive is ideal for those that are primarily looking for a sales focused platform. So if you're looking to better enhance your sales team, sales process and pipeline management, then Pipedrive may be the perfect platform for your team and business. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. Now today I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step Pipedrive tutorial for beginners and help you understand and navigate all the impressive pipeline management features designed to help your business drive growth. Okay, so before we launch into this Pipedrive tutorial, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that out the way, let's go ahead and get you started with Pipedrive so that you can better manage your sales process. Okay, so to get started with Pipedrive, simply head over to your browser and type in pipedrive.com and that's going to take you here. Then simply navigate up to pricing in the top left hand corner and then simply navigate down to the four pricing options. Unfortunately, Pipedrive does not offer a free plan. However, you can get started with any of these premium plans with a 14 day free trial. So today, what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started with the essentials plan. This is sufficient enough for small businesses, small teams, and you can always upgrade to a more extensive plan if the plan that you've selected has limited features for what you need. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the essential plan. I'm going to create a fresh account for the purpose of today's tutorial. So go ahead, select a plan, sign up for a free trial and we'll meet you inside your Pipedrive account. And here we are inside our fresh Pipedrive account. Now Pipedrive is founded by salespeople and therefore this platform is built for salespeople. It's easy to use and it's purely focused on driving revenue and growth. Now, if you navigate over to the far right hand side, this is where you can invite your team. You can also navigate over to your profile and click here and come down to company settings. And then down here under company settings, we wanna make sure that we sync our email and calendar to get the most out of this platform. You can also come down to company and you can manage users. And this is where you can manage your sales team. You can also go ahead and invite your sales team here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is navigate back to our dashboard and start walking you through the essential features to get started with this platform. Now, like I mentioned, this platform is built around the sales pipeline, your sales process. And if we navigate down here, you can see that we have deals selected. This is where you can manage your sales pipeline. This is where you can manage your deals. Now, before we dive into deals, what we wanna do is navigate over to leads and this is where you can manage all your leads. Now below leads inbox, we have the lead booster and this allows you to add live chat on your website, chat bot, web forms and more for lead generation. So what I'm going to do is quickly add one lead for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our first lead inside our Pipedrive account. Now think about the lead section as a place for you to manage all your qualified and unqualified leads. So for example, if I click on this lead, and this is where I can manage all the information about this specific lead. I can also navigate over to notes and add notes about this lead. I can click on activity and see recent activity about this lead. This could be meetings, emails, and calls. Then I can navigate over to email. And once you've gone ahead and connected your email inbox with Pipedrive, this is where you can start directly communicating with your leads via email, rather than heading all the way over to a new tab under mail. You can directly communicate via email through this tab over here. Now, what we can also do is we can come down and add an activity. So at the moment we have no activities for this lead. So what I can do is click here and I can choose to arrange a call meeting task, add a deadline, email or launch. So I'm gonna go ahead and select meeting 
and I can go ahead and add a title for this meeting and I can come down and schedule that meeting. And this is where I can add information about that specific activity, this meeting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select next week. And then down here, what we can do is convert this lead into a deal. So deals are for managing your qualified leads and your customer's journey that your leads flow through to become a customer. So remember under leads is where you can see all your leads and then deals are where you have your qualified leads. Okay, so what we're gonna do is convert this lead into a deal by clicking convert to deal. And then you can navigate up here and add further information about this deal if you don't already have that information associated with that lead. Then come down and click save. Then what we can do now is navigate over to deals over on the left hand side. And that's gonna take us to our first deal over here. And this is the beginning of our customer's journey through our sales process. So this is our sales pipeline. We have one, two, three, four, five, five stages in our sales pipeline. Now we can also navigate up to our pipeline up here and we can come down and we can edit this pipeline. And this is where we can go ahead and customize our sales pipeline. So every organization has a different sales process. This is where you want to either create a new sales pipeline or you can edit the current pipeline here. So over here you can see our pipeline name is simply pipeline. What I could do is change that to sales pipeline. And then down here we have our sales stages. We can come down and rename the sales stage and we can also add the probability in terms of the probability that each deal is going to flow through to that particular stage in our sales pipeline. So for example, I'm gonna change the probability to contact made to 80% and the probability that a deal will flow through to this stage is 70%. Then I can navigate over to proposal made and I'm gonna change the probability to 50%. And then under negotiation started, I'm going to change the probability to 40%. I can also navigate over to the far right hand side and I can add a new stage. And this could be called contract sent. And the probability down here will be 35%. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one more stage. And I'm gonna call this deal closed. And the probability that a deal will flow through to the very end of our sales pipeline, deal closed, is 20% and I'm happy with that, then I'm gonna navigate up here and click save. Now, what I'm going to do for the purpose of this tutorial is go ahead and quickly add two more deals. And down here, you can see that I've quickly added three more leads to our sales pipeline. Now, next to each lead, you can see a symbol that represents the type of prioritization. So for example, on King Foods lead, if I click here, you can see the type of activity that is due in seven days, introduction meeting. I can also come down and schedule an additional activity for this lead. And this activity is ideally gonna help us move this lead through our sales pipeline. Then if I exit out of this one, you can see that the lead group deal has a red icon. If I click here, this means that an activity is overdue. We have a call that was meant to be made yesterday by Stuart. Again, we can also go ahead and add an additional activity. And then if I click out of this, we also have this symbol here. If I click here, you can see that there are no activities scheduled for this deal. And if there's no activities for a specific deal, then how is that deal going to move through our sales pipeline? So what I would do is come down and click schedule an activity. For example, I could add follow up email and then navigate over to email and then add more information about this activity. So I'm gonna add the date, which is going to be a week from now. And then I'm gonna hit save. Now, what I can also do with each of these activities that are associated with each of these deals is I can click here and I can click mark as done. And then I can go ahead and add a note about this particular activity that I just completed. And as you can see, that's gonna turn this notification into green. So what I could do now is I can drag this lead and drop that over to contact made. Then what I would do is click here and simply go ahead and schedule another activity that's going to move this lead to demo schedule. So depending on the stage of each deal, you can simply drag and drop that deal into the right stage of your sales pipeline. If you click on the lead, 
You can bring up more details about this specific lead. You can also navigate over to won or lost if the deal was won or lost. You can also navigate down here under revenue and you can choose a billing plan. So for example, if this organization has been set up on some kind of subscription plan each month, then we can go ahead and add that in here and that's gonna allow us to track the revenue. And again, over here we have more important information about this deal. We can add notes, view activity, propose times, call, email. We can view files and upload files, documents and invoices. Now, if this deal becomes a customer, what I would do is click one. And then what I wanna do is head back to my deals. And then I can navigate over to filters and I can navigate down to all one deals. And you can see that that deal has been won. So this deal should be over on deal closed. And then what we wanna do now is navigate over to mail. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, what you wanna do is connect your email. And that way you can engage with your contacts, your leads, your deals. And then under mail, what we wanna do is navigate over to our calendar activities. And this is where you can simply view all your activities that you're assigned to. You can also view these activities in a list view or a calendar view. And remember, what you wanna do is take the time to sync your calendar with Pipedrive. And down here, you can see the activities that I have coming up. Then below activities, we have contacts. And this is where you can simply add and manage all your contacts inside Pipedrive. We can also click on organizations and view all the organizations within Pipedrive. You can also go ahead and add additional organizations up here. We also have the option to view contacts timeline. And this is where you can manage the activity timeline of all the activities that you've engaged in with your different contacts. Then below contacts, we have insights. And this is where you can customize your sales dashboard. You can simply add the types of reports you wanna see on your dashboard. You can also share a public link with external parties that want to view some of this information. And you can also navigate over to the left-hand side and you can view any of these reports. So under insights, you have access to either basic reports that you want to view or more complex reports. It's completely up to you. Then below insights, we have products. And this is where you can add and manage all your products that your organization sells. And you can associate these products with your contacts, with your leads, deals. So you can manage what products are selling and what products are not selling. So what we're gonna do is come down and click cancel. And then below products, we have marketplace. And this is a powerful marketplace where you can integrate important apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis to run your business with Pipedrive. So what I'm gonna do is head back to our Pipedrive account and then below Marketplace, we have more. If we click here, we can set up automations within Pipedrive to save us time and money and we'll dive deeper into workflow automations in the future. We can also import data, export data and then we have access to Academy videos to help you get more out of Pipedrive. Then you have access to the knowledge base if you have any questions or issues and you're looking for a solution. Then we have community and mobile apps. Pipedrive offers a mobile app for both iOS and Android so that you can manage your CRM activities from not just your computer, but also from your mobile device. Okay, so that is a basic overview of how you can get started with Pipedrive. Now that we've covered a basic overview, what we're gonna do is put together a more advanced Pipedrive tutorial that's gonna take you through some strategies and more advanced features so that you can make the most of this incredible sales-focused CRM. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Pipedrive tutorial for beginners. Now, if you have any questions about the pipeline management process, this tutorial, then make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.